Hi, my name is Jasmine Vera. I am a worship leader at El Santuario, a growing Spanish-speaking church in Anaheim, California. And today I want to share with you the verse of the day, which is in Philippians 2.7. It says, Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. What an amazing model of service. Jesus, being fully God, gave up his divine privileges and took the humble position of a slave. Imagine that. The King of kings and Lord of lords came from heaven to earth in human form and gave us the greatest example of service. When we read about Jesus' story, we can see that he led by serving others. Our human nature usually wants to call out for attention. We want to be served, not the other way around. And if we do serve others, we tend to wonder if we're going to get anything in return or we expect to get something in return. In our workplace, if an opportunity comes for us to do something other than what we usually do, sometimes we think or we say stuff like, this is not part of my job description. And so we let go of an opportunity not just to serve, but to learn, grow, and expand. My friends, let's not let position, skills, or our status get in the way of us serving others with excellence and with love. If Jesus humbled himself and became a slave for our sake, what is stopping us from following this example? I encourage you today to take the time and do an act of service. Whether that means serving in your community, serving in your church, running the extra mile at work, whether that means serving your family member, your neighbor, a friend, or even a stranger, take the time to do an act of service. Trust me, there will always be someone that's in need and will benefit from our acts of service.